y'all welcome to i got time today podcast i'm jamaica p i'm jace and we're so glad to have you here hey y'all today we have a wonderful episode ahead of you we're gonna talk about some things that might be a little controversial but you know what we're gonna have a good time nonetheless it's gonna be funny it's gonna be hilarious just stay tuned all right now before we get started we're gonna shoot you with a couple of our sponsors right now What's up, Queen City? My name is Madison Anderson, UNC Charlotte alumna and founder of Fresh and Mobile Laundry Delivery Services. Here at Fresh and Mobile, we offer residential customers in the Charlotte metro area the best wash, dry, and folding services. If you live in Charlotte, Concord, Harrisburg, Matthews, Pineville, Rock Hill, or Fort Mill, and hate doing laundry, we got you covered. We are committed to taking the stress of laundry day off of your hands, starting at the low price of $1.20 per pound. We wash, dry, and fold your clothes, bed sheets, bath mats, and more, so you can focus on more important tasks. And the best part is, we come straight to your door, and you'll get your laundry back within 48 hours. So take a load off and schedule a pickup today. Hey y'all, y'all know COVID's still going on, right? I'm telling y'all, y'all gotta check out my girl Designs by J Mo B. She made me some fire, fire masks. I suggest y'all go support her. Y'all look, she put a little shoe on there too. Her packages even come with cleaning wipes to clean the mask. So if you're following me, you have to go follow her. Support her, y'all. Y'all. Today's topic is best R&B songs from the 90s. So, y'all, we got the top 16 R&B songs in our opinion. All right, now, let's keep this in mind. Full disclosure, full disclaimer, this is our top eight. My top eight, her top eight, and we're going to battle it out tournament style. Matter of fact, I'm going to have the graphic right here so you can see what's going on. I want you all to participate as well. Stay tuned to see who's going to be crowned the number one R&B song from the 90s and I, let me tell y'all something you won't believe who her number one song <laughs> is in her bracket mine is a little more understandable but listen y'all just enjoy this man and see what you love if you disagree put it in the comments if you agree with some things if you feel like your team Jace or team Jamaica put it in the thing you know what I'm saying hashtag team Jace hashtag team Jamaica nonetheless share this with your friends like this comment subscribe and uh, y'all just enjoy this, man. Every every month we're gonna do this once a month, y'all. Tournament style episode, all right? First of all, rewind all the way back. It's just gonna be Team Jamaica, okay? Because Jamaica always right. That's fair. That's fair. But my list is better. My list always better. You see, she dressed ninety style with the, the denim <laughs> jumpsuit on. <laughs> What they call that? What they call that? Denim jumpsuit with the short sleeves. Mm. Just denim jumpsuit. She and her denim flow. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yo, so we're going to get started, y'all. Um, so the way we did it, as you see, we have the brackets, all right? We have uh, numbers one through eight on each side. Jamaica's side is the left side, and my side is the right side. So we're going to go through this one at a time. Now, because of licensing and all that good stuff, copyright and stuff, we can't put the music on, especially with the YouTube video, but we can do it with the actual audio part. So stay tuned. We'll see if we can do it and make it happen for you all. All right. The first song up, what you got on your list? What's your number one C? Who you got? My number one is This Is How We Do It by Montel Jordan. And your number two, what you got? Let's not, name, go ahead and number them all through. Let's go. All right. So it's that one. I got Freak Like Me. Adina Howard. That's your number eight. Uh-huh. That's my number eight. Uh huh. Um, my number four is "Come and Talk to Me" by Jodeci, and my number five is "Real Love" by Mary J. Blige. Ooh, that's gonna be a tough one right there. That's a tough match. You know, I love me some Mary though. Mm hmm. That was hard. I'm not gonna lie. It okay. If we had done more, I would just do her whole album. That's fair. I would do her whole album. But I love Jodeci too, and I still I still listen to Jodeci to this day. Um, my number three, 
I had to include her. I had to do it. R.I.P. I'm Your Baby Tonight by Whitney Houston. Mm. What you think? I'm going to tell y'all backstory real quick. That song almost didn't make the actual list because I was like, wait, that came out in the 80s. I remember hearing it back in the 80s. I thought at least. But it actually came out, I believe, November of 1990. I had to do my research on that. Make sure it actually hit the 90s to be qualified for the 90s list. So it just barely made it. Just barely made it. She in there. Yeah, who else you got? And I put for my number six, Do Wop That Thing by Miss Lauren Hill. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, this is a tough one. Between Montez Jordan and Can We Talk by Tevin Campbell. Like, that was hard. Mm. That was really hard. Dang. That song actually had a resurgence in the late last couple of months or years or so. They still play it in the club. Oh, for sure. For they still sure. play it in the club. But and I put for my number seven in my bed by Drew Hill. The original, not the remix. No re none yeah. of none of them is remixed. Yeah, none of these songs are remixes. We're doing just original cuts of the songs that hit the radio. And um yeah, your your one through eight pretty tough, man. That's gonna be a tough matchup. I think the easiest matchup is your one and eight. Your this is how we do it versus the Adina Howard freak like me. Um but the toughest one I think you got on your hands. Come and talk to me versus real love. That's gonna be a that's gonna be a heavy matchup. So on mine, mine is mine's a little bit I don't know, I guess you can say eclectic. But it's a little less popular. But these are my top eight R and B songs of the nineties, alright? I like debate it. You, you like okay. I'm about to debate your mind. But it's not better than mine. Okay. We'll see. Y'all tell me who's better, alright? My top eight, and this is in order. Um let me pull it up for you. So, my number one seed, I have Be Happy by Mary J. Blige. Dang, that's awesome. My number eight seed, her opponent, is going to be It Never Rains in Southern California by Tony Tony Tone. Boo. Is it Tony 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 or Tony Tony Tony? Or Tony 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 Tony. Tony, Tony that's what that man said. Tony. Tony Tony Tony. I think they wanted to be original and use the Y, the I. And the E. And the E. So my number four is another sad love song by uh, Tony Braxton. I love this. Versus number five, Cupid by One Twelve. Mm. My number three is Ascension, aka Don't Ever Wonder by Maxwell. Versus If You Love Me by Brownstone. That's easy. You. That's not easy for me, man. This is tough. My heart is. I think my my biggest. Y'all see number two versus number seven. Number two. Is Kissing Game by High Five versus Candy Rain by Soul For Real. That's a tough matchup. That's They're almost the same songs. <sighs> same kind of vibe. You know what I'm saying? I want to know what the people think about that one because I, I, I can't. Well, let's get it started then. Let's get it popping so we can figure out what's up. Okay. Let's get it popping so we can figure out what's up. <laughs> All right. So go ahead. Yo number one versus yo number eight. This is how we do it versus Freak Like Me. We already know who about to move forward. We already know. I gotta say, this is how we do it. Why? You you, you tell Freak Like Me for a reason. Huh? I, I just love, I always love that song. I'm not gonna lie. It's funny. I can't remember like what I did last week and stuff like that. But I can remember mm. that song. And I think, I want to say I was in the fifth grade. Mm. I think I was in the fifth grade when that song came out. I just always you. love that song. Oh. Mm. <laughs> what, Deca? What? Wait a minute. When did it come out? Freak Like Me. Let me find it right quick. It came Let's do out our in Googles. 2000. Oh, I can't. Hold on. Wait a minute. Two, 2000? Then it's time to write. <laughs> hold up. Adina Howard. You're not about to see Freak call me up. Like Me. I look good. So I Googled it just now. That song came out in 95. I'm about to say uh, you were in fifth. Oh yeah, you were fifth grade ninety five. <laughs> I was in second grade ninety five. That's right. That's right. Okay, so we are yeah. a couple years apart. All right, so we already know. I I'm feel not like a I feel cougar. the same. I'm not a cougar. The, I feel the same. Um, Adina Howard. I'm I'm not really a big fan of like that song. It wasn't really a big thing on my radar. That song was like. Let's go. Pop- Wait a minute. I, I you were in fifth grade. When came out. You love that song. What do you mean? No, I said it was popular. Oh, it was okay. a good song. 
Oh, I had to sneak and listen to it because my mom wasn't having it. For sure. My number one, yeah. Be Happy, Mary J. Blige versus It Never Rains in Southern California. <laughs> I'm not going to hold you. I love both these you songs. You better say the right one. She's a Mary fan, but I'm going to tell y'all right quick, though. So, not to get too much backstory, I lived in California for quite a few years of my life. My early childhood, grew up there um, up until like 93, moved to Charlotte. And then as an adult, going back to California, living in LA for a little while. Um, man, let me tell you something, Chief. I, I There's nothing like Southern California, Chief. Nothing like it. Every time I got off the airplane, I had to play that. I had to play it. Had to, I had to hit it. Listen, It Never Rains in Southern California is that jam. But be happy, though. That's a whole vibe. How, it's a you gotta pick one, and you better pick. You the can right play one. it anywhere. I could play it, get up the plane, going to California too. Be happy is just like how you can do play. I, be happy, getting off the plane, getting at your car, waking up in the morning. You can on the way to a go funeral. to church. You can, we could play anywhere. I mean, be happy on the way to the club or the lounge. It's a vibe. It, exactly. it it helps you to feel it, we already know we're going for it now. We said it. You said it. You convinced me. It's gonna be an upset, but be happy by Told Mary J. Blige. I'm always right. Moves on. All right, be happy it is. So okay. we know be happy beat them. The next one, what you got? This ain't right. Go ahead. <sighs> Come and talk to me by Jodeci. Mm. Or Real Love by Mary J. Blige. Now, you can't use the same Mary J. Blige thing that you used last round. This ain't fair. You got it. Hey, that, those are your seatings. That's how I seat it. Number four and five. This ain't right. So, tell me why you like Come and Talk to Me then. The original. It was the beat. Like. I get confused. You know how Come and Talk to Me go. As much as I play it. No, I'm saying the remix and the uh, original. Um... Come and talk to me. Mm-hmm. Isn't that both? I don't. I don't like Jodeci. So. What is wrong with you? I don't like Jodeci, y'all. Mm-hmm. I'm not. I've never been a Jodeci fan. They be doing, ooh, yeah, all that. I don't even got time for that. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of none of that. All that extra riffing and stuff. It's cool, but with them, I ain't really That's what made the songs. That's it, what no, made I the like, songs. I like riffing and stuff, but they were them dudes. Song, they still are those dudes. They were really, it was really funny on Martin, that episode. <sighs> Hollywood swinging. <laughs> Martin <laughs> was crazy. Oh, uh, he that had was wife, funny. He had not a white beater. I hate saying that word. He had the uh, the little t shirt thing. Tank top. Tank top. There you go. That yeah. was funny. <laughs> Low key, Martin sung a little bit better than KC. Which one's KC again? The ball? No, no, no. That's the that's, that's JoJo. brother JoJo. Okay. I know about them. KC was like the lead singer. Devontae and Alvin? Dalvin? Mr. Dalvin. Mr. Dalvin. Okay. You really don't. I'm about to pull your car. I didn't right here in front of these We didn't people. play Josie in the house like that. We didn't. So I. So who you got though? What you what you hitting on? Because Real Love is a good one too. I love Real Love. Is, what were you doing when you first heard that? Really? Do you remember what you were doing? No. Do you remember how you felt when it came on? I could see you It now. was more like a party song, but I was still in Yeah, but elementary. Were you, you, were, you were bopping to it, right? Yeah, when they played on the radio. Mm. Um, I could see you smiling. Teeth missing everything. Real love. I had all my teeth. <laughs> I had doing? all my teeth. Thank you. So you liked it? That was your which one are you gonna choose? Like, what you think what you which one you wanna see go forward? I gotta say come and talk to me by Jodeci. Ooh. I'm sorry Mary, I'm sorry, girl. She ain't a no real fan, Mary. I love you, Mary. She ain't no real fan, Mary. I lo- I'm gonna come and see you. She ain't no real fan. She ain't even you know what, we'll move forward. You said real love, okay. No, I said come and talk to me by Jodeci. No, I'm saying okay, you're right. Come and talk to me. All right, let's go with yours. So, another sad love song, Tony Braxton versus Cupid, 112. 
Um, Ooh, that's hard. Nah, that, it ain't that hard for me. Cupid is cute. Girl, if I told you I know you, it doesn't mean that I would cheat on you. Don't. That's all I know. Don't go singing nowhere. Yeah, the falsetto <laughs> little Aikido. It's okay. Listen, I don't know. That song, I ain't gonna hold you. I listened to the words for the first time just about two, three days ago. And the whole time I'm thinking that's a love song, like for weddings, it's not. It's not at all. Um, Everybody know that song. Like, everybody remember the video. I've never seen it before. I am older than you. So. It ain't that, no, we were sheltered in a sense. Like, not, we weren't sheltered, Ma. But we, were, we couldn't watch music videos. We couldn't listen to rap or, you know, secular R&B at one point in time. So I didn't really experience that until adulthood, but I still didn't see the video. Um, however, another sad love song. My mama did play that tape out. Tony <laughs> Braxton. Um, so it was part of my childhood, man. I ain't gonna hold you, but Cupid goes hard. Girl, if I told you I love you, you gotta that pick one. Me. You gotta pick one, sir. Another sad love song. Easily. Okay. I'm gonna say that because it, it just it brings back good memories for me, man. Even though it's a sad song. Um that's my jam. But she I mean, she put her everything in that song. She did. Yeah. Um sing it. Hit hit the first part. Ooh. You hear Tamar on the background. Ooh. 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 I'll leave the singing up to them, not mm-hmm. me. Mm-hmm. Okay. What you got? Three six. What you got? So I said, "I'm your baby tonight" by Whitney Houston, mm-hmm. and "Do Up That Thing" by Lauren Hill. Mm, yes. Oh. Why did I do this to myself? Whatever you want from me, and I'm not mm-hmm. choosing because she's gone. Oh, that's I easy just for you. Love. Yeah, that was easy. I love I'm um, Your Baby Tonight. Why? I what? love it. I just love it. I just oh, love, I love Whitney. But what's funny about that is, man, do up that thing. It made you feel like some kind of way if you were living foul. <laughs> it made you feel some kind of way. Well, how the words go? You ain't got to sing it, but like, you can rap it. She was rapping a song. No. Something, something, and you were looking for your friend, and I'm looking, and when you call, and you ran. I'm going to need for you to go back and Nothing. listen to that song, okay? No, I mean, how's it go? Like, what's some, some key lyrics in there that you just said, forget that, I'm going with Honor Baby tonight? It's not the lyrics. It's just, I just love Whitney. No lie. I just love Whitney. So, if you trying to get a vibe, you listen to Honor Baby tonight, not doo-wop. Because doo-wop would low-key ruin the vibe. It just... You're supposed okay, to, be, it, trying to be nasty or something. You're trying to be like, you know, you trying to be something. I mean, with, I, you know, I'm your baby tonight, yeah. Yeah, like she, she gonna get that man. She gonna get her son. She gonna do. She gonna yeah. Okay. So do. <laughs> <laughs> so do what loss. All right, my number three versus my number six. Ascension, aka don't ever wonder. Mm, 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 mm. It's terrible. I don't know the words. Your eyes on the high. high. If you don't know what I'm saying, oh, so Wait. don't ever want. I'm terrible with lyrics. I'm good with melody. I'm terrible with lyrics, and I've known this song since I was a kid. Um, don't ever wonder versus if you love me, brown song. You better pick the right one. You better you better pick the right one. Mm. First pause. So, what even made you pick those two? These are my top eight songs that I like. I mean, let me. Okay, y'all. Another disclaimer. My top whatever changes every day. Anyway, today this is my top eight. Tomorrow maybe a whole different top eight. Except, be happy is still one of my number one ninety songs. Now, my number one army song ever in life is "Booed Up" by Ella May. That's just. That song is a vibe all together. But, so let's go back to my three and six. Don't Ever Wonder, Maxwell, versus If You Love Me, Brownstone. I'm trying to think. Bopping. Let me see who I'm bopping. Doom-ba-doom. 
Dun. No, that's uh, Don't Walk Away. Exactly. <laughs> oh, I'm about to snatch you. That's don't you walk got away. one more time. <laughs> that's Don't Walk Away by Jay. Wait a minute. Um, If you love me. Mm-mm-mm. I can't stand when people be reading songs. I love made that song mm-hmm. because their harmonies. Like, no, well, what's her name? Awesome. What's her name? Nikki Gilbert. Like, that, who that? That's the reason. Like, everybody sung, all three of who them sung Gilbert? different parts in the song. You be knowing people's names. I don't be knowing their names. That's because I love music. That's fair. Yeah. If You Love Me is a good one, though. Like you said, the harmonies is fire. I think that... um, They put they all in that song. Like That's they was, fair. They was hurt, hurt. Like, they put their foot down. Like, the guy was getting the ultimatum. You need to be telling him, like, stop playing games. That's fair. I like that. I think... So, going forward, when we Ascension, Don't Ever Wonder by Maxwell, just because she went so hard for Brownstone, I got to go against that. Brownstone was cool, but Maxwell, that song. If you love me, uh, it's cool. It's like it's, I want to go to sleep. That's how I feel. Like, if you love me, no, they that was me. like you. The beat. You need hard. to let me know what's no. You have to listen to. But the, what if you like entanglements? Like, you, what if you want a situation ship? You don't want a situation ship. Do you? You want to? Uh, you think? You think Jada would choose if you love me? Or August Alcina would choose if you love me. Or Ascension don't ever We're not me. going there. That's messy. Yeah, super messy. <laughs> Let the super messy. Okay, so I'm, I'm choosing rich people problems. We... I'm choosing Maxwell. I'm choosing Maxwell. That's an upset for the pod. So Maxwell beat. Did you only do that because you? Just... I did. You went so hard. <laughs> you went so hard for if you love me. And I'm not being funny, but it's the more we talked about it, the more I'm like, man, this song sucks. So go ahead. What you like about it? What you what's your number two and your number seven? The easy that's another easy category right there. This one is uh not so it's easy. It's a blowout. No, it's not. Okay, so I picked Can We Talk by Tevin Campbell or In My Bed by Drew Hill. Easy, can we talk? Did he say he was stalking that lady in that song? You told me that that song was a stalker song. Didn't he come out and say, yo, by the way, y'all, that's a little creepy. That song, I was stalking the chick. I don't care. It's I love that song. I love that song. Well, you know what you're But wrong. in my bed, I know you like in my bed, but you only like it. Don't let me spit. Wait. Wait. <laughs> y'all. <laughs> Tell them why I like that song. And this is not like, this is just a joke, all right? All right, no disrespect to nobody. <laughs> they kidding. had them dudes in there looking stupid in that video. They were, look, look, yo, go on, go on YouTube after you watch this. Go on YouTube, type in "In My Bed, Drew Hill," and watch the video and get you a few laughs. When I, I guess when I watched the video, I just watched the video. I didn't watch it, seeing everything. This one right here. <laughs> Was like, oh, you gotta watch the video because look, he did this, he did that. So I'm just like, okay. First of all, he said, Did you say Cisco look kind of like, like Fantasia? He had a moment where he was doing this, look like Fantasia. Don't. This, that's what she said. Put the, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> but he was doing this thing with his hand and he had like a moment, like a split, maybe a minute, maybe a second and a half of looking like Fantasia, y'all. I'm he telling was, you. He was in the moment. Like I like Cisco because he was he's he always was the in the moment. He's always feeling everything. Then what the other part that Nokia. I remember was Nokia pouring wax. candle wax on his chest trying to be sexy. <laughs> All right, now if you into that kind of stuff, that's on you. But oh, I, I promise y'all, I never paid any attention to it until this one pointed it out. Nah, you and then it got one. to the point. I'm rewinding it. It's so funny to me. You're it's funny it. to me. You're missing one. They had jazz in a long leather trench coat, y'all. Doing the butterfly. Somebody sleeping in. They were y'all, in. that's low-key his favorite video of all time. I wanted to be jazz once growing up. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Drew Hill's one of my favorite uh, male R&B groups ever. They are so good. And um, 
I wanted to be like them so bad, man. When Beauty came out, I, I got the album Into the Drew. And, yo. No, that one was good. I was also like a chunky kid. So, I said, well, I relate with jazz more than anybody else. And, um, man, I said, I'm going to be jazz when I grow up. So, I saw that video. They had my dude in a long leather trench coat. It was. Yeah, he used to walk around pouring candle wax on his I did cell. not. My brother probably did, but I didn't do it. <laughs> I wanted to. Adam reminded me of Nokia a little bit. I wonder if he. <laughs> anyway. So who you got? What's your number two and number seven? Who you got going forward? That's an easy one, though. No, no lie. Off of the last alone, you can't let In My Bed go forward. It's just too funny of a song. Even the song itself. But it was a Somebody. good song because uh, I'm... Now, you know, darn well, a lot of people mm. could relate to that song back then. They could. I, I mean, I couldn't because we I was... Young, yeah. We were still but young. But as adults it. now... I think people would have been, if it had been today and In My Bed dropped, it would have been a different kind of song. It wouldn't be no calm, sleeping in my bed, messing with my he jumping. head. <laughs> that wouldn't have been happening. I think it would have been some fighting, some slow singing, flower bringing. So I don't think it would fly today. So no. do you think it holds up against Can We Talk though? I gotta say, Can We Talk move forward. For sure. Can oh, We Talk for sure. move forward. Can we talk? I love Tevi Kim. Cause think about it, you in the club, and they drop. Can we talk? Everybody, you can turn. The Everybody song off. singing that song. Everybody be somewhat on key. Everybody know the words to that song. Everybody just know. That's fair. All right, my number two versus number seven is probably the hardest one in the whole bracket so far. Kissing game by High Five versus Candy Rain. Slow for real. I was a high five fan. You were really digging Candy Rain. So for real, they okay, but I wasn't into them like as much as I was into High Five. And High Five first album just. Oh, you got the albums. I love their whole album. I didn't catch any of that. It's okay. I mean, I'm saying like I didn't. I'm not talking about the LP. I'm talking about like the actual song. What you think is the better song? Kissing Game, duh. That's just give us a little bar too. Let us hear a bit, a little bit. No, I don't know the words too well. I like the way you mm, mm, when you playing the oh you kiss me. That's duh. You kiss me when we're playing the kissing game. Okay, I'm pulling. And then the Candy card. Rain is my love. Do you ever dream of? Candy coated raindrops. You're the mm, 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 mm. <laughs> one and three. What's it? You're the what? It's okay. Mind? You're the what? You're the. You're mm. the same, my candy rain. You're the same, my. Y'all don't make sense though. Y'all don't make sense. Lots of them make sense, but you're the same, they was, my candy rain. They was in top ten somewhere. My love. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, you. Silence me. Okay. I don't know. I'm going to say off of Vibe Alone, Candy Rain. Candy Rain upsetting high five. Now that I think about it, Kissing Game was cool, but I ain't trying to catch mono. No? Okay. Here's a, okay, let's, let's go back there. Kissing Game is cool, but I think the better, the better vibe... Uh-huh. The better vibe, no, is Candy Rain. No, it was this. It was Kissing Game. But hey, this is your, no, this, this is, is on your bracket though. But this is what this is your podcast though. So, so let's let's talk about it. We need a tiebreaker. All right, tie I say Kissing Game. And I, say I think you just saying Candy Rain because I'm saying something different, bro. Bro, don't know. We gotta get the we gotta get the little uh, team. To come in and do the... Uh, she wasn't the, even thought of at this time. Sure wasn't. We had to call in our daughter uh, to talk about which one is better. Candy Rain by Soul For Real or Kissing Game by High Five. What makes y'all think I know those songs? Okay. <laughs> like I he gonna play a listen a little bit. Yeah, I know
Okay. Sorry, I love that All song. right, so our daughter came in. You played her a couple songs. And which one you say was better? Candy Rain. Candy Rain 1. All right, moving on to the next one. She don't punish me. No, I'm not. All right, so Candy Rain it is. Candy Rain 1. Thank you, Brooke. No problem. Candy oh, Rain. Child deceive me. Candy Rain beat. She don't know. Kissing game. All right. So, now we got that knocked out. We're going up to the next round. All right. We in the... Uh... <laughs> you ready? You good? Next round, who you got? This is hard. So, I say, this is how we do it by Montel Jordan. Mm -hmm. And come and talk to me by Jodeci. Mm. It just depends on the mood you in. What mood you in right now, then? I'm in a scared mood because I don't know which one to put. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, based off my vibes right now, I'm going to have to say, come and talk to me. And I say that because I'm not even a Josie fan, but after hearing... You put both of them together, play each of them back to back. Which one gave you more of a vibe consistently through the whole song? I'll say Montel Jordan gives you a party vibe. The song the first verse a is a party vibe. The first verse for sure. I mean, just think about like the video and everything. It was just it. a vibe. You ain't seen the video? I think I equate that song with Night Professor. This is how we do it. It's Friday night. And then the next song you play. And I feel alright. The party's here on the west side. So I reach for my 40 and I turn it up. Designated driver, get the keys to my truck. Hey, you know you can't do this song. Sometimes I know the song. Sometimes. So I rock with that one. I also rock with um, this that second song he sang on. Another professor. Something for the honeys. Something for the honeys. <laughs> He was like, ooh, summertime. No other time. time. And then he was like, no, 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 no. No? No. Okay. But anyway, back to the, back to the bracket. Ooh. Come and talk to me is a vibe through the whole song. I think summer, I mean. Come um, and talk to me. I, think, I really want to do, girl. I really want to know who you Okay. Okay. So I'm, I'm going with Come and Talk to Me by Jodeci. Okay. Come and talk to me. Beat. This get harder. Really <laughs> Alright, so I got be happy against. Okay. I got be happy against another sad love song. <sighs> one song is happy, one song is sad. You already know I'm going with this one. Mary. You know it. <laughs> I ain't got to think much about that. They're both good songs, but if I'm going for a vibe, I'm talking about from the beginning to the end. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, hey, wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Now we put it like that. A vibe? I don't know, because she's... <sighs> a vibe? Both of them got good vibes, though. Because think about... Mm. It's just another sad love song making my brain like crazy. And then you hear like her sisters in the background just killing it throughout the whole song. And at the very end, so bad, so bad, so sad, sad love song. And you can hear Tamar just, she like, y'all gonna hear me today. Like through the whole song. And then Be Happy is just a, how do I find some That's the song. I got that right, right. How can I love somebody else? How can I love someone else? Okay. I don't know the words. I don't survive, though. I play it in the shower sometimes, so. If I want a quick pick me up, I play Be Happy. I'm not picking that one, because. <sighs> if you were me, who would you choose? I, I'm sorry. I, I'm leaning towards something you might disagree with. Only on the strength of Tamar and the sisters, man, just killing it. And Tony okay. fill it in. But the sisters would carry the song. The sisters carried that song. They carried the, the bridge, the chorus, all that. They carried it. But Be Happy Mary, I think about the very beginning in the video or whatever video I know of when she's like at the Apollo or something. Maybe that wasn't the video. Maybe it's the clip I think I know. We're going to see. Was, no. 
No, we're going to sit down. And you're going to watch every one of these videos. <laughs> because at the beginning of the video, it's like, it shows like the mountains. Of oh, yeah, I didn't like see the video. That. I saw the. Um, but I guess you saw Apollo. where she was singing on that mic. The, no, 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 no. I'm thinking, about, I'm thinking about a performance she did, I think. Yeah, you're going to sit and you're going to watch do. every last video of all these songs. I'm sorry, Mary. You my you my girl. Your new album is completely fire. But I got to go with another sad love song because those Braxtons, man, they just, they, as sad as the song is supposed to be, it's a vibe. I ain't going to hold you. And I'm in love. But it's a vibe that Ah oh, man, be happy is hard, but another sad love song moves on. Okay. What you got for your next round, babe? Um, I have I'm Your Baby Tonight by Whitney Houston mm -hmm. and Can We Talk by Tevin Campbell. You gotta think about that one? No. Who was on? Who you think? Can we talk? Yeah. Can we talk moves on. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> no disrespect, but I love you, Whitney. Mm. So, I guess uh, for me, it's Maxwell versus Candy Rain. So, Ascension Don't Ever Wonder versus Candy Rain. Once again, reverting back to vibes. Okay. Okay. You're the highest of the high. Or Candy Rain. See, we talk about Candy Rain a remix with Heavy D. It'll move forward. No remix. If we were, it'll it'll move forward. But based on the fact that the vibe falls up at the end, I gotta go with Ascension. Don't ever wonder. Okay. Okay. All right. Now we in the, we in this y'all. We about in the finals almost. We in the semifinals. So you got come and talk to me. Versus Can We Talk? Come and Talk to Me by Jodeci versus Can We Talk by Tevin Campbell. Mind you, everybody on Twitter talking about something. I'm tired of this song. DJ didn't play a new song in the club. They didn't play something at the kickback at the sip and paint, quit playing Can We Talk. That's just a small percentage of our population. But I'm saying, but Can We Talk is just one of those songs that, oh, you know, old, young, Everybody know. Mm -hmm. uh, to me, I hate to do it. Come and talk to me. But everybody don't know that song. Like you can't say old and young know that song because young people is like me. who? What? You think? Nah, oh, and if they do remember Jodeci, is because KC his ooh yeah they remember that part. And I think people remember the song. I don't think the younger generation knows it though. Right. Whereas a Tim and Campbell, everybody, everybody knows it. Like pastor know it. <laughs> yeah, pastors. Everybody, everybody mama know, know that song. Mm -hmm. So, oh God, I can't believe I'm doing this. Go ahead. I'm it's ahead. hard. Can we talk? Is in the finals. Yes. Can we talk? Can we talk? Beat, come and talk to me. Can we talk? Be come and talk. He asking a question versus a demand. Nah, no. <laughs> that was good. Let's not front. That was an opportunity I had to capitalize on. All right. So, I got another sad love song versus Ascension. Another sad love song. Mm. That's just, that's the vibe. I'm sorry. Dang, you just... Yeah. Another sad love song moves on to the finals. So, we got Can We Talk? In another sad love song. Don't say it's easy because it's not. That is super easy. No, ain't no way. So we already know who won that one. Another sad love song. We are. No, they did not. No. No. Why? Don't nobody know that song. You still feel like can we talk? Beat another. Excuse me, I got burps. You still believe that can we talk? Beat another sad love song. Yeah. Okay. We ain't calling our daughter up here for no tiebreaker, all right? We're going to do the old-fashioned way. Because you, no, because you already know who's going to win. We're going to do it the old-fashioned way, the 90s way. 
Paper, rock, scissors. No, no. If you think my song and your favorite song, Can We Talk, is the number one song, put it in the comments. And if you feel like Another Sad Love Song is the best song on this bracket, block her, report her account spam, do whatever you got to do. But make sure that you put Team Jace wins because Another Sad Love Song is a better song than Can We Talk. No. You drop it in the club, which they probably won't. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> okay. They'll play my song in they the lounges. They'll play it they play just mine everywhere. Therapy. They play mine in therapy. Yeah, pretty <laughs> much. And Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, you know what? Because of that logic, y'all, and the vibe being that it's a vibe starter, can we talk as a vibe that yeah, we can't deny? I love that song. I ain't gonna hold you. It was hard. I will concede. Unlike Thank you. other people name. Um, I will concede. And I will let her have this one. Only because she's right. For sure. She's right. Can we talk as a better song? Now... Name okay, we're gonna do something quick. Honorable mention songs. Okay, I got one, you got one. One song that we didn't list that you think would have been a good fit in this bracket. If you could take out Adina Howard in exchange with one of your other songs you had on your list before you made your top eight, who would it have been? I don't know, that's not a 90s song. What song? I would have to say. Don't be looking up no songs right now. You got plenty of songs listed. No, this is my list. I would have to say. Ooh. We ain't got no TLC on there. We ain't got no In Vogue. We ain't got no SWV. I thought about SWV. I did too. I thought about SWV. Which song? I like Use Your Heart. That one would have been hard. I, I like love that. that song. That one would have been hard. Um, no total. We ain't got no total in here. Dang. We total, total had a couple songs, but we only chose eight. Yeah, we chose eight. To keep because it, keep if it, yeah. it was up to us, this would be an all day event. Yeah, it was going to be a 32 song bout. It would have been 16 versus 16, but we wanted to make sure the graphic could fit for one. And for two, we didn't want to make y'all bored, but. Yeah. I ain't making so nobody what, what Cause everybody, what everybody doing there. Everybody was Dang, bopping. You know D'Angelo? Everybody was bopping to my, my list. Your list not they so much, but everybody. Yours, especially with Adina Howard. That's if you being a freak. You trying to be nasty though. <laughs> but who would you have chosen instead of Adina Howard? I'm going to tell you who I would have chosen instead of my number eight. You know what? You surprised me though. For real, How? for real. You surprised me because you a huge Aaliyah person. Yeah, but I like Aaliyah just more of her 2001 album. That was my jam. Okay. I'm going to say, since you still think about yours, um, my number eight, It Never Rains, almost got exchanged the boot for, and this is being for real for real, y'all, no jokes. Only You by 112 featuring... Biggie. And actually that the original <laughs> version didn't have Mace on it, I don't think. The remix had Mace on it, I believe. But the original version was yeah. Mm-hmm. The original version would have that would have gave Be Happy by Mary J. Blige a run for their money, I ain't gonna hold you. So who would your number eight would have been instead of Adina Howard? Bill Bib Devoe. Poison? Yes. That's a ooh. Against oh that would have won against Montel Jordan that would have won. If you would put poison against Montel that would have this whole bracket be different now. This wouldn't even be. But that but I I knew that though that's why I didn't even put it in there because I mm. knew what it I knew what it would have did so I did right. You did because you did honestly it would have took. Sure, you could even took out in my bed by Drew Hill and put Del Bell Devoe. That would have gave Cameron Talker a run for their money, too. That would have been... This would have been tough. If you would have put Belle Bib DeVoe in there, 
this would be a totally different bracket. The, the, the whole tournament would have been different, you know? <laughs> Completely different. I think so. But not in a bad way. I think we still, no. did, we still did your thing. It's just... You gave Adina her too flowers, many for songs. sure. I think the, the 90s, 2000s is mm. my favorite. Because uh, this stuff now... I feel you on that. I feel you on that. I feel like the same way because... But it's funny, though, because... When we were coming up, mm-hmm. our parents was thinking, "What the heck is this, y'all? Right. Listen to? What is it doing it again by LL? Why he eating an apple in front of an aquarium and a stripper? That don't make no sense. I mean, I get it. Right. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I I think the '90s R&B era and 2000s R&B hip hop era was definitely we came we came at a good time. We came up in a good time. Honestly, I couldn't imagine going up to like Houdini and the freeze come out at night. What, what, that would have been weird. No, never mind. Um, I cut that part out because I'm about to say something about drugs. That's what Drake said. He said, never mind. That was clever. I was like, that's next level thinking. <laughs> so, y'all. You have to put that in there. Yeah. So y'all, that's our bracket. She won. Can we talk? I don't really agree with everything, but I'm rock with it because you know what I'm saying. That's boss lady. Um, yo, but tell me what you think. What you got in the comments? Like, let us know which which one you think won. Honestly, between Can We Talk and Another Sad Love Song. Now I'm gonna look and see who voted for me. I love you. Um, if you I love put you. Team Jace. Mm. If you say anything about Team Jamaica, I rock with you because I rock with her. So, top that. <laughs> top that. Mm-hmm. Whatever. You say anything bad about her stuff, I'm blocking you. You heard me. Exactly. I'm blocking you. Yo, that's it though. That's our episode today, everybody. Um, thank you for participating. Uh, make sure you fill out your own bracket. We put it in our stories up here. Check it out. It's a blank bracket, so you can screenshot it. You can put your own words in it, whatever you want to, whatever your titles are. Do your top 16. Your 1 through 8 East, your 1 through 8 West, however you want to do it. You know? And and let us know. Tag us in your post. Make sure you put in your stories. And uh, we'll love to see what you got. Your top 16. I know it's hard. Trust me. It took us a long time to figure out our list. It took us a couple of meals, a couple of disagreements and everything for us to figure out our list. So, do the same. Thank y'all for your time. Thank y'all. Appreciate Remember what y'all. I said? Team Jamaica. She's funny. Thank you again <laughs> to our sponsors as well, man. We really appreciate y'all for sponsoring this podcast. I got time today with Jamaica P and friends. And y'all, we out. Mm-hmm.